What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here, and we just wrapped up Microlux Chicago. And one of my favorite things to do at Microlux events is to spend time with the brand owners. And for this video, I got to spend some time with John Canaris, the owner of Oxia Watches, who has a really nice and nostalgic university-themed lineup of watches that are officially licensed by the universities. So what do you say we dust off our diplomas and meet John? And we are with John Canaris of Axia Watches, and John started a really unique line of watches that has a really nice niche, but I'll let John explain a little bit more first about who he is, and then we'll get into his watches. John, how did you get into the watch business and what made you decide on the Axia lineup? Great, thank you. Uh, so the wa my love of watches started my senior year in college. I played lacrosse at the University of Pennsylvania ah. and we won the Ivy League championship that year and they gave us a watch. And uh, that sparked my interest in watches. Um, this one is one of our Axia branded watches. But uh, what I learned from that experience was the watch they gave us wasn't a great quality watch. <laughs> and uh, I really fell in love with mechanical watches. I love just the, the human ingenuity piece of it and how it comes alive. And ever since then, I always wanted a nice watch, a mechanical watch with just the pen logo, but never could find it. So after 30 years of looking, uh, I cashed in my corporate gig Ooh. to pursue my passion of starting my own business and specifically a watch business. Right, so I was gonna ask you, uh, you mentioned mechanical, your love of mechanical watches. Uh, does that extend to quartz or, or how do you feel about quartz versus mechanical? So there's not a good or a bad um, right. between quartz and mechanical, but for me, I, I prefer mechanical watches, right. mainly because of the human element. You know, the, to me, I'm just blown away that a human being figured out, you know, over 200 years ago, how to position and engineer these, you know, little pieces into a certain mm -hmm. sequence that allowed time to, to be measured precisely and fit it all in a small you know, instrument that fit on a wrist. It just blows me away. Was there one particular watch that you fell in love with that really got you started? So my first mechanical watch was a Tag Heuer, and mm. uh, I love that watch. And which, which Tag was it? The Carrera. Okay, nice. Yeah, so Tag Carrera, and so that was the first mechanical watch I got, uh, special meaning to me. And, sure. Um, and from there, uh, again, uh, I always wanted my own uh, university branded one. I, I have a love for my alma mater. And, and, um, and where did you go to school? University of Pennsylvania. Okay, nice. And. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at some of your uh, timepieces, your university. Yeah, so. Uh, and you, uh, before I continue, you yeah. actually have, these are actually uh, licensed with the university. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so um, so we start with the Axia branded watches. So Axia, the, the name Axia is, is a Greek word and means value. I'm the product of Greek immigrant parents. Mm. And uh, and so we, uh, we try and deliver a lot of value, uh, a lot of watch for the money. And so that's where the, the company name comes from. But we start with the Axia design and then we apply it to each university. So this is a Columbia University version and all of the university watches we make are fully licensed with the university. Um, that's a pretty blue. Thank you. Yeah, and you know we pay them a royalty for each watch we sell. And so uh, the cool thing is we feel like we're, we're kind of market development for the big brands because if we can start these university students on their love of horology, Maybe they'll upscale from our watch to maybe a Rolex or a you know a Panerai someday. So you consider Axia as more of a starting point to the more expensive. Brands? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're we're a starter brand. Which one um, you our price point is between five hundred and a thousand. This is another really cool um, project we did. So you know when so, when a team wins a championship, the default is getting a championship ring. These big gaudy things that no one ever wears. <laughs> And so what we've been trying to encourage uh, teams to do is also get watches. And so we're really proud of our affiliation with the University of Virginia. Yeah, right, right. The men's lacrosse team won the national championship this year. And in addition to the rings, the players also got watches. And so now you've got these college kids, you know, wearing the, you know, this watch, which is really meaningful for them. Sure. And hopefully for them, it'll, it'll start their love of horology as well. And so uh, it's, it's a unique niche. It's a fun um, project because, you know, these, these watches have some emotion to them, right? They've got memories and affiliations. 100%. Something, something that people are passionate about. And for me, that's what, what horology is about. It's not about necessarily the mechanics. It's about the emotion that comes with the design and the aesthetic and, and your connection to that piece. So do you find people that only buy the watches that it represents their alma mater or do they buy watches for other people that they know 
what school they've gone to. So it's a, it's a combination. So the, the university watches, there's a combination of people buying it for themselves, mm -hmm. but also very commonly for gifts. So we had a lot of parents buying uh, university branded watches as graduation gifts. Um, and actually we have universities buying watches for, uh, for alumni you know, uh, as gifts to donors. Sure. Uh, I think right now we're in fall, fall of 2019, and I just think fall brings out the best in, in, us, in us with the alma mater, and I would know I would love to have a, one from my university. It's just, it's fall, it's, it's school, that's when school begins. Correct. And so uh, I, I know it has a special meaning to me too. John, thanks so much. Thank you, Rich. And we'll talk to you another time. Cheers. Bye. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. So what do you say we dust off our diplomas and get to meet anyway? And for today's video, I got to meet Tamara from Oxio... No, I meant John, but, but Tamara is from Oxio Watches too. But I meant to say, I got to meet, spend some time with... John.